Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Dark Queen of Crin. Um, still back in that vortex area, but I thought I'd show you what's on the scrolls. Uh, this is the Red Mage Scroll, Disintegrate, Mass Invisibility, and Meteor Swarm. So, I'll, I will have Mass Invisibility once I can cast it. I don't think she can cast it yet. And on the White, white Mage Scroll... Delayed Blast Fireball, Otto's Irresistible Dance, and Power Word Kill. Let's see if I can scribe any of these. Nope. Already know them all. Okay. And how about you? Uh, not high enough level for that one yet. No, I do already know that one. I cannot scribe the Meteor Swarm because I'm not high enough level yet. Um, let's see. Oh, Mass Invisibility is a 7th level spell. That's why I don't have it memorized. That's right. Might be worth it. Um, pretty sure that neither of them can... Uh, can get it. Yeah, they can only get Delayed Blast Fireball. Mm, do I want to get that? Do I want to get it? Mm, not right now. Maybe later. Alright, let's go. I'm going to go ahead and pause it and get back up to the uh, level that I was at. So I'll be back momentarily. Okay, we're back up to where the chest was, and it is now gone. <gasps> Shock. Gasp. Let's go this way. Oh, I got an email. You hear fell voices speaking in a strange tongue. Too bad, we're going to go up the level, up the stairs. To level nine. Okay, well, uh, we've got a door in front of us. Let's go through it. There's a poorly hidden pit on the floor to your north. Wow. These pits go through the entire level of the uh, lighthouse, don't they? Uh, let's not go through that door. There are shattered remains of some sort of statue here. Yes, we, we gathered that. You glimpse something hurrying away. Oh, God damn it! Gorgons are... You are attacked by a patrol of Gorgons in a tan beholder! God damn it! Stupid beholders! Play Blast Fireball. Hopefully, I won't hit people. There we go. Catch all those organs. Area of effect. Wow, 82 points of damage. Very nice. That's fine. You can attack me from behind. I'm too busy trying to uh, kill the beholder here. Oh! <sighs> oh! Uh, Thank you. Thank you for killing it all. Uh, there we go. Yay, now almost everyone can go up a level. I don't know what that said. Shattered remains of some sort of statue here. Oh. Okay. Well, um. If I go up around there, I'm going to get attacked by more another beholder and more gorgons I'm not going to do that cuz look stairs up here woohoo climbing stairs to level 10 very nice all right now this place yeah is a freaking maze we've got rooms galore 
head north here. Um, let's see, what is in... Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, joy. Well, okay, not too bad. Don't go through that north door there. We are going to go through this north door here. Iron Golem, stand at attention in front of a heavy wooden door. What do you do? Let's move forward. Iron Golem, simply stand before the door, silent and unmoving, menacing. Attack! How many? Oh, crap. Well, got a lightning bolt. Might as well use it. That'll slow pretty much all of them. And yelling didn't seem to do anything. Lovely. <laughs> Dancing. Oh, don't miss. Yay, there's one down. There we go. Oh, good. So, ooh, I don't really want to move her up closer. Oh, but, got it. Hey, wow, he didn't move into attack. I'm impressed. <laughs> go ahead and dance. Oh, no, don't do that. There we go. Ah, stupid keyboard commands changed from the last game. Uh. Okay, figured he'd move in. Can we stun him? Probably not. There we go. Ah, fun times. Holy crap, that's a lot of experience points. Oh, Alt still can't go up a level, though. Alright, well, this door looks different. Yay, stairs! Climbing stairs to level 11. The door is locked. What do you do? Um, pick the lock. You have found a false door! Damn it! Ah ha ha! Nope. Nope, well, I guess we've got to go back down. Well, crap. That sucks. Alright, I guess we'll head back this way. An elf woman dressed in leaves and flowers lies dying on the floor. She has been crushed by the fall of a stone gorgon. There is no indication how of how this came about. Ooh. What do you do? Uh, let's remove the stone gorgon. Gorgon, of course. Who will try? Alt heaves aside the heavy statue. Struggling for breath, she speaks. You must reach Festilian. Take my gear. I am spent. Tell him. <coughs> she coughs and a darkness comes over her features. Suddenly an odd look comes into her eyes and she speaks again. It must be under the porch. Uh... What should we tell Festilian? It is too late. She is finally at peace. And you never even knew her name. Do you take her gear? Sure! Happy Loot the Corpse music! Yay! Ah, uh, looting the corpse music. Longsword and bracers. Well, let's just share out the money. Um, what do you have item-wise? Uh... You don't actually have a sword at all. What about you? 
You have a longsword plus four. You have a longsword plus three. Let's have you take that sword, though. And you are overloaded. Great. All right, well, all I guess you get the uh, sword. Moonshadow, you can uh, you can take the bracers. I'll figure out what they are later. Well, so, um, something is under the porch. Um, hmm. Well, you know, we might want to just uh, take the express passageway down. Yeah, I think so. North, north, got teleported. North. There's a poorly disguised hole in the floor to the south. Well, you know what that means. Whee! As you notice the poor quality of the illusion that hides a gaping hole in the floor, you suddenly realize that you stepped out into thin air, and all and you all tumble down into a dark pit. As you fall, you have a brief sensation of something sizzling through you. You feel motionless, and you're falling again. After a very long fall, you land with a crash of armor on something soft, squishy, and foul-smelling. And we take ten points of damage. You're immediately aware of the... Yeah, I mean, we only fell down ten stories. You're immediately aware of the stench of whatever slimy stuff it is that you landed on. Then you begin to notice your surroundings. Get to the correct page on the map. There we go. This is recorded as Journal Entry 32, and now I have to get to the correct page in the uh, Adventures Journal. Thanks, game. Should have known that I was going to get to the right page of the map. Where is it? Journal entry 32, The Hideous Cavern. The foul cavern is covered with mounds of filth, decay, and rotting corpses. Some of the corpses are those of enormous spiders and huge bats. Others are of humanoid form. The stench is overwhelming. Torn and rotting flesh is mixed with something even fouler. The only illumination is a pale green light which comes from all around you. By the light of this hideous glow, you suddenly see forms rising from the mounds of filth. Oh no! Great Oatyug rise up from the filth to attack you. Immense purple worms slither toward you. Huge beetles seem to come out of the very earth itself. You are surrounded by hideous foes! <laughs> well, the good news is... Fireball them! Oh, you hit her. She could have fireballed. Damn you. She could have fireballed too. How dare you. This guy's moving really slow. Holy crap. You guys better group in closer. Ow. Well, she got hit. Let's cast a delayed last flat fireball from skull from the scroll. What do we got over here? Oh good lord. Yeah, we'll go there. That was terrible damage. That is really terrible damage. Oh, hey. She gets to go... Why did she get to go twice? I don't get it. I don't get it. What do we got down here? Um... Yeah, why not? I'm target there. I'm not sure if that'll hit the guys down below that wall. Probably not, actually. That damage isn't all that much better, you know? Smidgen disappointed. Smidgen disappointed. I don't have much that I can cast with him. But she gets to move. Yay, now for the real damage. <laughs> Ew. That's a lot of guys. Alright, that works. Whee! Well, at least most of these boring beetles will be taken care of. They're so boring. Well, 
Oh, great. God damn it. Alright, do you have anything that you can use? Uh, oh, I should probably not use it, though. Got haste, slow, mirror image, fear dimension door, iron skin, stone to flesh, power blind. Um, let's cast slow on these guys. Why not? That's... Those guys are pretty far away. Oh. Well. Let's target them. That should help. What do we have that we can cast with you? No blade barrier. That's unfortunate. Well, let's just... Uh, What do we got that we can, uh... Eh. Shucks. Alright, come on, people. You can move again. Stop that. Ow! Not nice. There we go. Die. Oh, good. You can die again. Stop that! Let's get up there to protect him. Oh, that's not good. Uh, but I can get a delayed last fireball off. That's always good. Go after those guys. Even though I did slow them. Go some more delayed blast fireballing. It's always a good idea. That was almost not worth it doing that much damage to a boring beetle, really. Ow. Um, I can cast with you. Don't lose the spell, don't lose the spell, don't lose the spell. No, don't cast it over there, right there. Oh, nice. Why did it not? There we go. Just wondering what ha happened to the damage. Uh, let's actually see if I have any good scrolls that I can use. I could use a, a wand. Spell... Nah. Nah. No, and I kind of want to hold the cone of cold for something good. Let's try power word kill. I wonder how that'll work. You guys don't have any hit points. Is there anything with a lot of hit points left? Not really. What the hell? Oh, that was worthless. Oh, crap. There's a purple worm back there. Damn it. Oh, lovely. What do you have on... Oh, I can try Power Word Kill. Uh, I got no potions either. Got a necklace of missiles. Good. That's fine. You have a heal? Yes, you have a heal. Yay! Heal yourself. Physician, heal thyself! Yeah, you can just guard. That's fine. There we go. How many experience points are... Wow! 24,000. That's a lot. Thanks, game. Um... Well, um, 
where can I go to heal? <laughs> oh, and I just closed my clue book. Yeah, thanks. I know you're doing this just to screw with me, game. Okay. Oh, and I can't rest. They just completely blocked that out. Thanks, game. Thanks. No, I'm not going to exit to DOS. All right. Well, at least uh, Elmandretta got herself healed. Um, that's the important part. Um, let's see. I am... Okay, I know where I am. There are some treasure points that I can... Uh, get. So let's go ahead and do that, just for the hell of it. Look. Under the carcasses of two huge bats, you find treasure. Do you take it? Yes. Happy joy time music funness. Uh, whatever. Yeah, I can, I can, I can share out the steel. That's fine. Beneath the immense corpse of a purple worm, you glimpse steel. Take it. That's not much. Ooh. Oh. You're probably not magical, are you? No. Boo. Jeez, 500 steel? Not worth it. Yeah, and there's one more. But let's actually go... Uh, there's a pile of rubble here, the remains of what was once a staircase. Damn it, game. I wonder how I'll get out of here. You walk through the rotting remains of dead fla dead things and bits of torn flesh. Mmm, tasty. I mean, oh, terrible. You see something sparkling in a pool of stinking slime. Do you take it? Sure. Under 50. That's nice. Oh, yeah. Boots! Probably not magical. Right? Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh, nice. That's worthwhile. Not that I'm ever going to use any of it, but still. There's a pile of rubble here, the remains of what was once a staircase. Great. More beetles bore up through the mounds of gruesome filth. What do you do? Scream! <laughs> Their antenna quivering with anticipation of the great beetles move in for the kill. <laughs> I couldn't help but I had to. Uh, I should attack them because I think this means stuff. Wow. That's a lot of beetles. Oh, good. We can get some delayed blast fireballing going. Whee! Probably could have gone with just a regular fireball, to be honest. Probably should have gone with just a regular fireball. Oh, well. What's, what's dead is dead. Mm. You can die now. I said you could die now. Thank you. Only 540 experience points. Clearly the boring beetles were not what gave me the experience points in the last battle. This is the deepest and most grotesque mound of carrion and offal. Dig beneath the rotting corpses. Climb to the top. Leave it alone. Let's climb to the, cl the top. After a disgusting climb, you discover that it is possible to climb out through the hole in the roof here. What do you do? Let's climb out, because we're not going to get out any other way. You climb out to the north. The air here is not much better, but there is stone under your feet rather than filth. Yay! Stone rather than filth. Funsies. Okay, so I need to figure out where I want to go. Oh, okay, I see. I can get out from here if I want. Or I could just go ahead and finish up this part of the game. Or uh, this area. Let's see. What is, uh, what's around here? Oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. No, really. It, it's, 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 no, it's not going to be fun. Alright, so there's a, uh, secret door right there and a teleporter. Oh, maybe I should see if I can fix. I can fix. Fantastic. 
Yay, full hit points again. Totally shouldn't be able to do that, but oh well. Uh, going that way would, of course, just lead it back to the hole, so I'm not going to do that. There's a poorly hidden pit in the floor to your north. A group of hydras roar and writhe before you. What do you do? Let's attack! Yay, hydras. That is a lot of hydras. That is a ton of hydras. Wow. Too bad the dragon lance won't work on them. Well, I mean, it works. Kills them like it kills anything else. It doesn't kill them like it kills dragons. Uh, I don't think I can get that one. Unless I... Well, no, I can ignore the one that I just attacked. That's fine. Whee! I like the Hydra icon. It's pretty good. That was... That was... Could have been better. Could have killed more of them. Let's try that. Have another one. And they all save. Well, let's try a regular fireball. There we go. Regular fireball time. How's that work? Excellent. Mmm. Hydra steaks for dinner, everyone. Hide your steaks? What now? No. Wow, that's a lot. Let's go ahead and share it all. Why not? Alright, let's see. Is there anything worth... No. Oh, look, suddenly we're facing east. I think that was a rotator teleporter thingy. You glimpse something hurrying away. What well, gee. Glimpse something hurrying away. Passing through a brilliant illusion of a wall, you discover an ornate marble arch. Form and color flow together just beyond the archway. What do you do? Let's step through the arch. As you go through the archway, you feel dizzy for a long moment. Bits of wood and metal surround a gaping hole in the floor to your left. It looks like this might be the remains of a gnomish device. Oh, that's that's not good. It's a very nice upper level on this uh this tower though. Fragments of a gnomish device surround the poorly concealed pit to your east. Huh. A nicely appointed hallway. A finely furnished bedroom. A large closet. Looks like it hasn't been used in years. It's not even marble. Yay, we can rest! Get our spells back! Fun times, fun times. This is quite obviously a wizard's laboratory, through more though more disheveled than most. And before you stands the unlikely looking wizard himself. He's standing at an old battered workbench, staring at a model of, a, of the lighthouse tower. The light in the model is slowly turning. Tiny waves lap at its feet. Next to the tower is a small whirling vortex of energy. He continues working, ignoring you completely. What do you do? Well, let's wait patiently. He stares intently at the two small models and mumble under his breath. Let's knock on the inside of the door. Let's knock on the inside of the door. Oh, scream and shout. He looks up from his work and frowns. Ah, oh, well, it's so hard to get any peace these days. I'm Fastilian, and I suppose you want to ask me questions or some such nonsense. Well, here you are, and it can't be helped. You might as well tell me what you want. Tell Fastilian not to be so rude. 
Show him the to-do list. Ah, uh, let's explain your mission. Fistilian becomes suddenly attentive. When you finish your story, he talks to you in animated tones. This is recorded as journal entry 10. Festilian speaks. Hmm, well then, I suppose it's a good thing that you came after all. There's evil at work in Fennel, to the south, you know. Or I suppose you don't know, and that's why you're here, isn't it? Well, yes, there's evil at work in Fennel, and Trandomir's poor, probably behind it. He's sworn to conquer all Talidus, actually. Never was such a nice guy, that Trandomir. The Draconians are up to no good, and Fennel's involved, no doubt about it. The Holder folk might help. Probably would, in fact. You can find them in the east of Trilliman. But the price is high. The price is always high. And you ought to find the Oracle of Tengar in the tombs of Christophon. You can't beat the Oracle for a good augury. And that's what you need most likely, a good augury. Well, surely we can find some birds to get, get a good augury. It worked for the Romans. I had the keys to the inner chambers of the tombs here somewhere. As he speaks, Fastilian searches through piles of magical implements and assorted junk. Ah, yes, here they are. I never can remember which one is which, though. He hands you two keys. One is heavy and rusted, the other is small and gold. Then he continues speaking. As recorded as Journal Entry 46. Oh, jeez. Thanks for making page forward, Bunch. Where are you, 46? There you are. Journal Entry 46, Fastilian. One of those opens the inner chambers of the tombs. This, that should help. He glances down at, at his models and seems lost in thought. Then he looks up. I did notice that you've been fighting beholders. I can see the signs of it on your armor. Really? What signs would there be? Well, okay. I suppose there could be beholder icor. There weren't supposed to be evil things in my tower. The Gorgons are supposed to keep them out. I bet they were working with the beholders, weren't they? Hmm. I really should get around to training them. Oh well, time flies. Well, I have to get back to work now. You can go out by the north door. Congratulations, the party gains experience. Well, let's not go out by the north door. Fastilian is deeply involved in his work and really has no more time for you. Aw, oh, fooey. Fastilian's laboratory is a disaster area. Books are piled everywhere. Many are torn or burned. Bits of shattered glass have been swept up into one corner. The wizard throws things about as he continues his work. Hmm... Anything else here? No, not really. That's where the false door was. So I can get out by the north door, huh? Really? The floor here is strewn with gnomish debris. You've stepped off the crumbling edge of it. Really? Don't make me come back up here and kill you, Festilian. Admire the strange gnomish debris. Scream and fall. Fall stoically. <laughs> oh, let me see if I actually have an option of doing any of these things. Um, let's grab for the edge of the floor. It is too late. The floor breaks away as you grasp it. You are falling. No! As you fall, you have... Oh, yeah, okay, we know that. After a very long fall, blah, 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 blah. Immediately where, blah, blah, blah. Let's climb to the top. Let's climb out. There we go. The ornate, mar the ornate marble archway opens into an incomprehensible world of swirling mists and half-seen shapes. What do you do? Let's step through the arch. You step through the arch. And you feel dizzy for a moment, then it passes. You are looking at the remains of a shattered teleporter. And we're back up onto the first floor. Yay! We can get the hell out of here. You're standing... Okay, yes. You head back down the rocky point of on which the lighthouse stands. Let's head back to his den. Hello, we need some training, please. Let's see. Uh, trained 14 cleric. That's nice. 12 fighter. That's very nice. 18 level level 18 magic user. Nice. Um, what do we want? I guess we'll go with monster summoning. I don't know why, but why not? 
Level 14 Cleric and level 14 Magic User. Awesome. Um, Charm Monsters, I guess. Let's begin adventuring. Uh, where was a store? Is this town cards? I use suspiciously. Don't bite me, guards. It's gonna be the uh, militia stores. There we go. What can we sell you, fine people? I've got stuff to identify. That's probably nothing. Five steel pieces for your mirror. Sure, why not? Longsword plus four. Very nice. Um. Yes, you do have space now. Good. Let's unequip that longsword plus three. Equip the longsword plus four. We'll trade this. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to sell it. I want to trade to alt. There we go. So he'll now have a sword. Uh, what else do we have? Those aren't magical. No. That's right. Yeah. Does she have anything? Nope. Bracers AC2. Oh, big, big improvement. Oh, yes. Negative 5. Very, very nice. Yes, we can sell that. And now she has too much stuff. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Let's see. Yep, pretty much it. Very good. How much money do we have now? Way too much. You are overloaded. You are not quite as overloaded. Get rid of all that. Get rid of that. You're fine. Okay. Left some money here. Nah, you can keep it. Keep the change. Keep the change. Uh, there's an inn here. I guess we'll go in here. And um, I'm going to rest up. We'll pick it up in the next episode outside of town. See you then.